welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video. I really appreciate that. If you like my videos, you like the content, you like the tips, you like the information, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, you can help support the continued production of these free videos right here on YouTube. So make sure you click subscribe today, right now. Do it, do it. All right, so today I wanted to talk about a general question that I get asked a lot, okay? This is a question, and I may be a little bit selfish here in making this video in the hopes that I could use it to answer this question maybe. And this may be a little bit redundant for some of you because we've covered this information probably in other videos. But the question is, what are the chemicals used in screen printing t-shirts? Okay, so today I thought I would quickly give you a, a description, an explanation and description brief of each one of all the chemicals that are used when you make t-shirts with screen printing. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. The first screen printing chemical or product that I want to mention is mesh abrader. Okay, mesh abrader is used when you buy new screens and you're going to prepare them to coat them with emulsion. Mesh abrader is only used one time when you buy the screen brand new from your print supplier, like catspitscreenprintsupply.com. Okay, and you won't use this but once, and you only use it on brand new screens. Okay, and what it does, Mesh abrader does exactly what it sounds like it will do, in that it roughs up or abrades the mesh, the fabric, the screen. Okay, and the reason we need to do that is because if we don't do that, the fibers in the mesh, when they're brand new, are too slick and too smooth for emulsion to bite onto. So we need to rough up those polyester fibers on brand new mesh or brand new screens. That's what we use mesh abrader for. It's only used once on a brand new screen, and that's it. The next chemical or screen printing product that I want to mention is mesh prep. Mesh prep is a soapy like chemical that we use in order to degrease and clean your screen. You want to clean the screen printing fabric, the screen printing mesh, and this is done prior to coating the screen with emulsion. Okay, so mesh prep is used in order to wash or clean the mesh and clean it of all the debris that might be on it, whether it be grease or oil or dirt or dust. Okay, so mesh prep is like a very gentle soap that is used to clean the screen so that the emulsion will have a better time adhering to the mesh, okay? Because remember, if the mesh is oily or greasy, it will repel the emulsion and it won't adhere properly, it won't stick, and it won't coat properly when it's wet. Okay, so mesh prep we use in order to clean the mesh and prepare it to receive the emulsion. That's normally done prior to coating the screens for emulsion when you're going to get ready to make some screens, make some new stencils for burning, you know, burning new stencils for your jobs that you're going to print. Emulsion is probably one of the most important chemicals or screen printing products that you will come across. Emulsion is the product that you use to create the stencil. Emulsions are light sensitive. They are a photographic type product. And we expose the emulsion to light in conjunction with the film positive in order to make the stencil on the screen. So emulsions are used to coat the screen mesh, okay? And that is actually what creates the stencil, okay? Um, emulsions are applied with scoop coaters to the mesh that you have previously cleaned with mesh prep, right? Okay? And there are different types of emulsions that can be used depending on what type of ink you're using or perhaps what type of printing you're, use, you're doing. Okay, so uh, sometimes it can be a good idea to investigate your emulsion a little bit in relation to your particular application, um, you know, depending on the ink type and again, maybe what you're printing. So it's always good to check with your print supplier like catspitscreenprintsupply.com. 
The next screen printing chemical that I want to mention are the solvents, okay? Solvents are normally what we use for cleanup. So this means these are the things that you're going to use to clean up ink or any kind of uh, adhesives or residues that you might find on your palette or on your screen or anything like that. Okay, and the first, there's, there's two major solvents for screen printing. There's press wash and there's ink wash. Okay, there's a difference between the two. And remember, differences between products can often be specific to the product, you know, the manufacturer. So it's often a good to, uh, idea, it's a good idea to check with the manufacturer of any given product, you know, or the print supplier. Ask, you know, what is this specifically used for, okay? Because press wash and ink wash, depending on who makes it, will determine on how exactly it's used, okay? But in general, generally speaking, press wash is what we use on press to clean up ink or to clean squeegees. Press wash is less aggressive than other solvents. It's much gentler to the emulsion when we're going to reuse the screen and it's much gentler to, you know, uh, squeegees and stuff like that. Uh, so press wash is what we would use on press or when we're going to clean up things that we reuse like spatulas and tables and stuff, just the general solvent that we use to clean up. Now, ink wash on the other hand can often be a little bit different and ink wash can be a little bit more aggressive. Some ink washes are very good at removing ink and stains from the mesh and as a result they can be a little bit aggressive on the emulsion. So ink wash is often used for cleanup when we're not going to use the screen anymore just in case the ink wash is aggressive on the emulsion or in situations where we do need a little bit more aggressive solvent we might use the ink wash okay another attribute or characteristic of ink wash that is common but not you know not to all of them again this is a generalization but a lot of ink washes are designed to be used in the washout booth meaning that you can spray them on, get the ink all loosened up with a brush, and rinse it with water. And the water rinses the ink and everything out of the, of the, of, off of the emulsion and out of the mesh and out of the stencil and everything like that. Okay, so ink wash and press, press wash are very different in ways. They're very similar in that they're solvents and they're often used for cleanup and cleaning ink. Okay, but the difference in press wash to ink wash is that press wash we use on press, ink wash is normally used off press, and for post-production cleanup where we might be reclaiming the screen. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, we're almost done. Don't fret, don't fret. There's not too many chemicals, there's only two more, okay, that I'm going to mention today. and. The second to last one is emulsion remover. Okay, emulsion remover or stencil remover is what we need when we want to take the screen and remove an old stencil that we've created previously and we want to remove it and we want to take the emulsion off the screen so that we can start the process all over again basically and prepare it to receive emulsion again and create a new stencil on the same screen. So we need a chemical that breaks down the emulsion that we cured in the exposure unit that made it hard, that made it from a, a, basically a dried liquid, a film, into a cured, hardened stencil material that resists inks, right? So emulsion remover is used in the washout booth post-production, after the job is complete, when you want to reuse a screen that has been previously used for another print job. Okay, now it's time to take that print job down. We don't need that stencil anymore because the job's done and we want to do what we call reclaim the screen. Okay, so that is what we call part of the reclaiming process and emulsion remover is used to remove the emulsion and the stencil from the screen. And it's important to note that that part of the process will require a pressure washer. 
So it's not only the chemical that helps remove the emulsion, but a pressure washer will often be necessary to facilitate that process. Okay, you've made it this far. Hang in there, one more. Okay, the last product for screen printing chemicals that I'm going to mention today is called haze or stain remover. Some people also might refer to it as a ghost remover or a ghost image remover. But most often you'll find it referred to as a haze or stain remover. And basically this sounds, you know, like just like what it is. It, it, it removes stains or hazing, which is cloudiness left over from inks used on the screen mesh from previous jobs. This chemical is used in the reclaiming process after you use the emulsion remover to remove the emulsion from the mesh. And now what you want to do is you want to make sure that there's no ink that's kind of clogging the arteries of the mesh. No uh, leftover adhesives or most importantly and most of the time it's ink or even leftover emulsion that grips onto the fiber of the mesh, the fibers, right? Because we know that mesh is, is all these fibers that are crossed to make this, this square meshing pattern, right? Well, when you have ink debris or emulsion that hasn't been all the way sprayed off of the fiber, it's kind of like clogging an artery backwards because it's, it's a buildup on the outside of the filament, right? But if that happens on all four of them, then what happens to the whole? The mesh openings get closed up and get smaller, and as a result, your ink flow characteristics where that haze is are reduced, and it actually can create patterns in the printed ink of the next job. If there's haze in the design, in the stencil area of your new job, so in other words, say I print a big circle of white ink, say I need to print a big white circle on a black shirt, if there's a line of a haze, straight line through, you're likely to actually see that line in the print of, of the, next, the next time you use it. That haze will reduce the ink flow through that part of the screen mesh. So it's important to use haze remover or stain remover only when the mesh appears to have ink stains left over after you remove the emulsion. Okay, and uh, Haze removers can be liquids or pastes, okay, so you'll find them in various forms and they tend to be the most caustic or hazardous part of the reclaiming or screen making process, but today most haze removers are very user friendly, so it's not that much of a concern anymore. There are still some made that are hazardous, but most of the ones like the ones I sell on catspitscreenprintsupply.com are actually not hazmat or anything like that. They're, they're very user friendly. So that's what haze or stain remover is used for. All right, I tricked you. There's one more thing I want to mention before I let you go. But uh, really quick as um, block out. Okay, one last screen printing chemical or product that I'll mention to you is called block out. And blockout is used to fix pinholes. Okay, so blockout is used after you burn the stencil, after you make the stencil with the exposure unit and your film positive, okay, and you've washed the stencil out and you've let the screen dry, and then you've noticed that there are some pinholes. And pinholes, you know, you should be familiar with what pinholes are from watching my previous videos, right? Okay, so pinholes are little holes in the, in the emulsion where you don't want them and they're going to allow ink to pass through and make little dots around the design where, where you don't want them to be. So block out is used to plug up those little holes and block out would be used in the pre-production process when you're making the screen. So after you uh, abrade the mesh if the screen is new you would mesh prep the, me the mesh to clean all the grease off, right? Then we're going to coat the emulsion on. We put the emulsion on. We burn the screen. We make the screen in the exposure unit with the film positive. The screen is then washed out and let to dry. At that point, you would check for pinholes. The pinholes, you get plugged up with the block out. Now we're ready to go to press. We go to press. We print the shirts. If we need to clean up some ink on the press, we use a little press wash. Okay, 
Then when we clean up, we might use a little press wash to clean up, take the screen off the press and go to the washout booth. And if we're going to reclaim now, we're going to use some ink wash to take the ink off the screen, take the ink off the screen, and now we're ready to use some emulsion remover or stencil remover to take the emulsion off the screen and start the, pro the process all over again. At that point, we look and see if there's any haze or stains in the mesh, and we would use haze or stain remover to remove the stains. And there it is. It's a cyclical process. So another question that could be answered in today's video is that the same screen can be used many times to print different designs. Okay? All right, so I hope this helped you out. I hope this was brief enough. I probably was a little bit more detailed than uh, I had hoped to be, but I hope this helps you out and I hope this will help me answer your questions in the future as I get them through messages and emails and stuff like that. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Remember to use the Cat's Bit Learn How to Screen Print Forum if you have questions and you want to post some questions and help everyone by helping yourself. Go to catspitscreenprintsupply.com and check out my stuff. But don't forget that catspitproductionsllc.com is the main website and there's a lot of educational information there for you too. So I know I've been mentioning Catspit Screen Print Supply a lot, but don't forget about the main website too because there's a lot of educational stuff there. Okay? Lots of good stuff. So check it out. Check out all my websites. Good stuff. Who loves you, baby? I do. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. I really appreciate your time and attention. Please remember, if you like what you see, subscribe, rate thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.